Hey, we don't want to look past Cinco de Mayo. Hey, we haven't even had a drink yet, and it's already past noon. But after today, you're going to need stuff to do on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as you might expect, there are some Prince tributes out there, but there's also a soul clap and dance off and an artsy bike tour. Those are just off the top of my head. I bet. Here to give us the details are Dick and Dave, Richard Burrow of the Burrows of the Brooklyn Reader, who just ran us ragged for Record Store Day. Welcome back to BK Live, Dick. And Comandante Carnival, David Colon, <laughs> boss of all Brooklyn bloggers. We always love it when Dick and Dave are here on the show. We magically transformed our studio. It's muy festive here. And here to give us a drink or two, actually, since it is a major holiday, is a man who can actually claim some expertise in how to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. He's bringing in a couple of friends called Yerba Buena and Cortez's Revenge. And so without any further delay, we want to welcome Ivan Escalante. He's the bartender at Bedvan Cocktails at uh, the head bartender. El Jefe over at uh, <laughs> Bedvine Cocktails on Halsey Street. Ivan from Bedvine, thank you very much for being here. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thank what you. are the drinks that you're going to be making us? One of them is something's revenge. Greg, is, Greg is, sounds like a revenge. vengeful drink. I don't like vengeful cocktails. There's it's a Tanya military Harding. holiday. It's a Tanya Harding sort of a <laughs> really, thing. There's not Tijuana tap water in there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's all straight mezcal and tequila. Nice. Oh, that nice. sounds good to nice. me. Yeah, so it's good boozy cocktails, really refreshing uh, flavor components to them, and perfect for celebrating to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Nice. So when you think uh, Cinco de Mayo, you should naturally think Bedvine cocktail. Absolutely. Nice. Very good. Okay. That's great. All right. All right. So, well, let's let's get them mixing up. We'll talk more about Bedvine, Cinco de Mayo, and the drinks. But let's also go to Dick and Dave here. I know there's a lot of stuff going on this weekend. The Derby, Thursday night at Putnam's. We got the comedy show. Always dig. Always, Always Thursday. Can't, can't 8 p.m. at Putnam. You can see me. Can't miss. But uh, you know. Big weekend going on. Dave, we're going to start with you. What do you got going uh, on? Well, David, go on. Hopefully, maybe it will be sunny uh, on Saturday <laughs> because it's uh, MCA Day in the park. He died three Rest years ago peace, yesterday. MCA. MCA. Exactly. It's just like it's just kind of a tough time on the calendar for celebrity deaths, I guess, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. since when we were on the air, air Prince died last time. But this is to just remember uh, MCA. Go to MCA Park in Brooklyn Heights. Mm -hmm. It's a it's really right by good the bridge time. There, right? right by the bridge. It's mm -hmm. a really nice park. For those of us who don't know, MCA is not the Museum of Contemporary Art. No, no, MCA uh, being uh, Adam Yauch of the Beastie Boys. The legendary. Yes, really. Legendary. Uh, legendary Brooklyn rapper. Has mm -hmm. has had a, a huge impact on hip hop. So uh, everybody will just kind of be hanging out, starting at noon again. If we ever see the sun again, uh, mm -hmm. it'll be it'll mm -hmm. be a nice time. Um, if not. I don't blame me. I don't have a weather machine or anything like that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to change the weather. No, you I should. Yeah, people. Yeah. I mean, people should go. He was it's, a Buddhist. He preached many for many great causes. I loved him. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. the Beastie Boys. Mm -hmm. me too, great rapper. Me too. Me too. All right, from, from the old days of uh, of uh, Rush. Um, oh, this one is going to be being here in memories. The opening reception over at Makata. Um, being here in memory is an interdisciplinary uh, exhibition, um, and it's the the amazing part about it is that it's going to be visual art, but it's also going to be, uh, all during the life of the exhibition, it's going to be dance performances that are actually a part of the exhibition that run in tune with the theme. It's like thematically uh, sort of curated so that it's not only visual art, but it's also dance art. So that's going to be something that's a little sort of multi-sensory for you. Yeah. And that's on Saturday from 7 to 10 over at Makata on uh, Hanson, Hanson Place. yeah. Close by, close by. Our neighbors. Close by. Ivan, neighbors. I heard oh, yeah. some ice going in there. What's happening over there with the drinking juice? So we're just finishing up the mixing up of the Cortez Revenge. What's in the Cortez Revenge it's, for those uh, of us who don't know? It's like mezcal, me. lemon, triple sec, uh, mixture of berries, muddled mint, mm. uh, and a little bit of wolf armor, which is an orange uh, herb liqueur, and just for extra flavor. So where, does it, where does the name come from? Cortez Revenge is just something we came up at a Bedvine cocktail. Who's Cortez? Cortez, Cortez was the conqueror of uh, Mexico. So oh, this okay. is his revenge. Yeah, wait, why is he getting revenge? Huh? <laughs> He's not getting his revenge. We're getting our revenge slowly by right. taking steps so ahead. Right. Bond's revenge. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't know. And okay. just so you know, right. like, obviously, Cinco de Mayo celebrates um, Mexico's, you know, winning the war against France. <laughs> I'm getting a history lesson. In, 18, case, in, in 1861. <laughs> 
at the Battle of Puebla. Right? Yeah. I'm so, sure that all the white people putting on mustaches know know all about that. <laughs> when did you guys know it so that if you get pulled aside on the street, that yeah. you don't just babble and go, You might win a shot. free drink. Blah, blah, blah. Be good Give me a shot. Right. <laughs> all right. What Next else is going St. on? Uh, it's uh, the Brooklyn Spaces bike tour. Uh, there's this woman, uh, Oriana Leckert. Very smart, uh, very plugged into like the kind of underground uh, Brooklyn spots. She wrote a whole book about it called Brooklyn Spaces. She is expanding that, and now she's doing a bike tour of some really fun places in Gowanus and in Red Hook. Again, it's on Sunday, the afternoon. Uh, you can get uh, tickets, uh, just uh, find this on uh, Brooklyn. Uh, and, and there's also snacks. Can't do a bike tour without snacks. Mm -mm. Again, it kind of depends on whether or not we ever see the sun again, yeah. because uh, Sunday might not be uh, great weather either. Is it uh, spring? I don't it's know. Mother's Day on Sunday well, as well. Well, right, it's right. also Mother's Day, but, but... If you don't get the sun for the moms, it, it might be a revolt. And I also, <laughs> I, I follow Mother Nature on Snapchat, and I've been seeing some little things about perhaps it might be some sun this weekend, so I don't know. Anyway, it's a good so she's going to take you to a bunch of really cool places in Gowanus and Red Hook. Uh, she really knows what she's talking about uh, when she brings you these places. She's very plugged in. Uh, Guan's Ballroom, uh, Superhero Supply, like the Waterfront Museum, even Royal Palms. You can go to uh, the Royal Palm Shuffleboard, Shuffleboard Club, maybe, yeah. uh, to have a good time there. And she'll tell you all about it. Uh, she'll introduce you to people. Uh, so it's a really good bike tour if, again— You should do that, Brian. It, You're an uh, avid biker. I would love to do it. All right. So, wait, cocktail. Awesome that. cocktail. Dude. Really excited sure. for this cocktail. Yeah, please, oh. bring him. Thank you, Yvonne, from sure. Bed Vine. Cocktail on Halsey. Oh my gosh, right there on Halsey and Brian's neck of the woods. Oh, I guess. and by the way, I'm actually having a, uh, I'm doing a single de mile party at no. Cocktail tonight. That's true. You can see Dick, DJ Dick after Richard dark. Burrows, DJ, DJ Dick, Dick at night, night at Bedvine tonight, and Yvonne's tonight. here from Bedvine. Which drink is this right now? So we made a mistake earlier. This is actually the Yerba Buena, not Cortez's Revenge. Okay. Cortez's Revenge will be coming up next. As long as it burns. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so what's as the spirit in this? Mezcal. It's the mezcal. The ingredients were correct. It was just the name that we. Okay. Excellent. So let's toast right. to BK Live. Cinco de Mayo, Cinco Ben Mayo, yes, 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 Cheers, guys. Yes, yes. Bung, bung, bung. Cheers. Let's see what this tastes like. Viva I bet Puebla. it's amazing. We have one more event, too. Let's go to that Latin dance studio. What's that? Oh. Well, wow. Uh, Balmir is a Latin dance company. Oh, wow. Dance That's studio. delicious. That's delicious. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a fantastic drink. Mm. Oh, my I God. Think we like that or bases. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. It's amazing. Mm, it's mm, like mm. grown-up version of a margarita without like syrupy, <laughs> nasty. Right, exactly. It's all sec. fresh you ingredients. Got that. Yeah. yeah, right. That delicious. I oh, that's delicious. I recommend it. Smoky. Yvonne, thank you so much. Yeah, you're the man, Yvonne. Oh, it's you can turn Donald Trump around with this one. Exactly. I'm going to bed, Vine. Oh my God, me too. What um, is it? Oh yeah. So, one? so this is going to be. Um, this is a dance studio, and they uh, specialize in Latin dances, cha cha and. Uh, the Brengue, like all these Latin dances, but they also Marina. are in competitions. So their dance studio also does competitions, and they like they like do this like salsa congresses, mm -hmm. and um, they're having a fifth year anniversary at uh, uh, what was that? Is it behind you? Balmiers? No, no. The uh, what's the place um, that always Sanders. Sanders? Sanders. Sanders Studio. Okay. Yeah, Sanders Studio this Saturday, and um, they're going to have. Uh, uh, some performances, and then they're gonna have a party, they're gonna have drinks, they're gonna have food, and they're gonna celebrate five years of teaching New York uh, how to dance to all these Latin styles. Um, but you'll go and you'll see a bunch of guys that have, and girls that have won awards and have uh, won competitions. You'll be wowed, and then you'll get a, a chance also to learn from some of the, you know, better dancers here in the city. Excellent. That's Yvonne, fun. I wanna say thank you again. Wowed? This is the perfect I Cinco think. de Mayo cocktail right here. You sell these all the time at Bedvine? We don't. These are going to be special for tonight. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. What's the next cocktail you're going to serve up? Another ben, Bedvine classic? This is a Bedvine classic. We call this the Bedvine Sour. It's a variation on a traditional whiskey sour. But today, given that it's Cinco de Mayo, we're going to be using some really nice silver tequila oh. and adding a little bit of Caribbean spice to it. Some nice dark rum. Nice. Oh, my right. gosh. I'm not worthy. Right, so we're going to get started with a little bit of egg whites. <laughs> we're all going to get down to Bedvine, <laughs> celebrate Cinco de Mayo down there on Halsey Street. And uh, if you're looking for other stuff to do this weekend, we got Dick and Dave here with uh, more picks Pray for, for the, the weekend. Pray, Pray, for the Pray for the sun. That's all I'm telling mm -hmm. people to do. Playboy A's Pray. all day. Yeah, Pray for the sun. Uh, if you don't want to do that, though, on Friday, you can go to the Grand Victory, where uh, the guys behind Feeling Gloomy, that fun, like, uh, goth yeah. dance party kind of thing, uh, Brit pop, what have you. They are paying tribute to Prince, 
who uh, fortunately can't die on air again while we're on, uh, you know, while we're doing this. So uh, it's very sad that he's dead, but there have been lots of great parties that have come out of it, uh, if you want some good news. And this will be one of them. These guys are great DJs. They know how to throw a really good party. And you'll be able to get a lot of other people who really, you know, just want to kind of honor oh Prince the best way they can think of, which I guess is dancing and then, you know, just making out with strangers or something. Um, well, you know, I mean, you'll feel bad, but then you'll so feel so very his, good. His uh, I saw you Purple know. Rain for the first time. Did you? I still haven't seen it. Phenomenal movie. You got to check it out. I what I think is also sad is that they're dragging this on so long, but that's a whole other segment. You know what I mean? He's so, he's so big. I mean, the sad, the sordid uh, nature of all the scandal that's going on with his... Death, I think, is sad. What's the traditional mourning period? When I you heard that he was James dead. Brown went on tour. His body went on tour for like a month. I remember. Yeah, so Kinda not, like nothing Cher gets worse than that. With that final goodbye thing, Cher's still on her goodbye tour, right? She's, she's still alive, though. She's, she's yeah, but let's see. Is she? Is she? What? Is What's she? the next event? Oh, Party Pangea. Party Pangea. So this is a party. This is like, it says it all in the, in the tagline, lit music from around the world. Um, so literally, you go over to Father Knows Best, at 611A Wilson Avenue, and you get the best party music from all around the world, from some Caribbean stuff, to some Latino music, to That's some American so music, to some Afro music. I'm sure they're gonna play some Mexican Antarctic boogie. Music? Well, I don't know if Antarctica is officially part of the world. Bjork, they'll just play some Bjork. Right. No, that's Iceland. Let me get my Sarah Palin on, exactly. Oh my God, yeah, I'm so right. Penguins make music. Penguins don't make music, right? It's, I think they do. In tuxedos as well. Um, yeah, but so that's gonna be um, this Saturday, so that's gonna be a good party. My man Dirty Boogie's uh, in the mix. I love that name, Dirty Boogie. And Get Summer, Get Summer is dope too. Get Summer is gonna do a lot of stuff this summer, obviously. That's great. Um, <laughs> All right, we got something going on at Sunnyvale. Yeah, Sunnyvale. It's a box. fantastic new venue. It's by Pumps, uh, that uh, that gentleman's club down on uh, Grand Street. Yes, so exactly. You know this. I've, I've never, never heard of this. Ever place. people know Pumps? Oh, anyway, Funny. Sunnyvale is new. It's I great. I've never been there. Uh, I'm a feminist. And they're gonna have a really good show for you. You've got uh, George Clinton, not to be confused with George Clinton. He's like you know like kind of an electronic guy. The guy that I'm really looking forward to Clancy. is the Terror Pigeon Dance Revolt, who is extremely Great. fun. Okay. Guy sings a lot of songs about like uh, friendship and uh, broken hearts and uh, being positive still even when you have broken hearts and he like always has these props he throws out in the audience. I got a beach ball last time. Oh, nice. I went to see him. So uh, if I am healthy by then, uh, that's where you'll find me if you want to say hello. Just say, hey Dave, I saw you, uh, you recommended this thing. Right. Uh, and you know. As long as you have something nice to say. I don't What's that about like? I've never been here. It's nice. It's like big open space. They got like a small stage, uh, you know, riser and mm -hmm. uh, George decent Clinton. selection of beers. George Clinton, yes. I don't know. Maybe that's the guy's name. Right? <laughs> Thank you. It's Thank his non-union Mexican equivalent. <laughs> right. Dick, you got a Royal Oakey Music Festival that you're... Yeah, this is um, at Idio Gallery over in Williamsburg on Grand Street. Um, this is a... Uh, it's actually, um, Friday night is the opening reception, and then Saturday and Sunday is actually the festival. Um, it's kind of like from Royal Oki, which is a punk-leaning West Coast record label that puts out really interesting and um, thoughtful tunes. On vinyl? On vinyl, <laughs> as well. Um, and they're based in Oakland, but um, they're doing a festival that is bringing a bunch of West Coast kind of punk-leaning bands to New York, and also linking them up with some New York-based mm. punk-leaning bands. So it's going to be a really sort of, a, yeah, it's, it's like a two-day festival, and it's also a exhibition at the gallery nice. while the um, festival is going on. So that's $12 and, and $20. I'm fascinated by bands whose name are a full sentence, and everyone is dirty. <laughs> Period. That's, Period. That's, 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 that's Do you know that, uh, for a band, I guess. Uh, it's like life is beautiful and I'm no longer afraid to die. That's a band name? That's a band name. They're an emo band. Oh, I bet they have long songs. Okay, the songs aren't that on long. Topic. Is Royal Oak still open in Williamsburg? The bar, do you remember Royal Oak? No, no, that place is over closed. the eight now. They close? It's called really? Over the Eight. Yeah. Over the Eight. Okay. Speaking of great places, I don't Bedvine live in is in the house. Anymore. Oh, Sorry. yeah, no, Over the Eight is a great place. Bedvine okay, here in the house, they're making us a new drink. Yes. Cinco de Mayo classic here. Yes. Yvonne, thank What's you very this much. One, Yvonne? This one is a spin off of a traditional whiskey sour. Uh, the big difference is that we're both using tequila and uh, a Caribbean rum.
Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, aren't we lucky? Okay. Well, Slide once again, happy there. Cinco wow, de Mayo. It smells so good. You, I saw you with that orange doing some magic over it. He has great finesse with his orange zesty skills. It should be rich, skills. creamy, uh, subtle orange characteristics and nice lime citrus co components to it. To uh, us oh, and cheers. everyone like us. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, cheers, folks. Cheers. Life is beautiful yes. and I'm no longer afraid to die. <laughs> That's a band, right? <laughs> Wow, it tastes like eggnog. Oh my gosh, it tastes like a creamsicle. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, there it's spectacular. Good. What's in that drink again? Can you, you say, say egg whites, I say lemon, eggnog. simple syrup, eggnog, tequila, yes. and rum. Oh my so goodness. The, will you commonly refer to yourself as a bartender or a mixologist? Uh, I am a mixologist, yeah. Right, because yeah. that takes a, a bunch of skill. He's the head. It's, it's a little bit more training, yeah. Right, but so it's it, all the same. Yvonne, yeah. we were discussing this during that song, and you have a phenomenal cocktail program over at Bedvine Cocktail. But we were talking about the importance of ice cubes in a cocktail. You have big, clear, chunky ice. How ice. can I make a cocktail at home? with my nasty refrigerator <laughs> ice cubes. Uh, first you have to clarify the ice, yeah. boil the water, boil the water, and then make it into bigger ice cubes. The reason for the bigger ice cubes is they melt slower. That means they change the flavor components of the cocktail at a much slower rate. So it's not a diluted cocktail by the time you're done drinking it, it's still consistent flavor components. Right. That's huge, I love yeah. that. Because most people think that's ice is ice, but it's not the case. Yeah, that's, that's why he's a mixologist. Your PhD in he's mixology. He's a professional, he's a pro, he's a, in fact, He's a pro's pro. There we go. We only we have two more events in one minute. So this why don't you take it away, Dick and Dave? Cocktail. Okay, great. So you got the Kentucky Derby. We're gonna say this really fast, like it's a horse race. Usually in the Kentucky Derby, you should read the Kentucky Derby is decadent and depraved. That's my tradition. On the other hand, maybe you actually go on and watch the race. Go to Pete's Candy Store in Williamsburg. They're gonna have a whole free thing. They got this. food, southern food. Ben they Jewett's. got a ladies' hat competition. They have gambling. They got the horse race. It's over in like, I don't know, 30 seconds you or something. Like the announcer. And then <laughs> you will have such a great time, and maybe you'll even walk away having won some money. And Don't the pepper spray the whole come. room. Why not a men's hat competition? Because that's what they do there. I don't He's know. a contender. <laughs> Have All a mint right. julep on us. Check out the Derby. Looking forward to that. And Richard, you got one? Oh, yeah, Soul Clap. That's, um, that's Mr. Tobin's uh, New York Night Train, which has been Strain. everywhere. Um, and this Soul Clap is actually going to it could be a dance-off as well as a... Uh, so just a party. So at 12 o'clock, I believe they have a dance off. So if you got your good foot up on your right foot, or if your left foot, get on your good foot and get into the soul clap. And you can do a. It's from eight to um to two, and it's at the Market Hotel, over and in um, Butchwick. Tonight is Thursday, so come down to Putnam's at eight o'clock for comedy in the basement on Thursday. Yvonne, isn't that a great flyer? Happy, though? yeah, that is. Happy that is Cinco cute. de Mayo. We're all gonna come down to Bedvine. Thank you for the drinks. Where's Thank Bedvine? It's, it's located at 305 Halsey Street. And what do you have going on for Cinco de Mayo or otherwise? What's going on? At We're going to have a big party, big festival, lots of sombreros, lots of tequilas. Lots of piñatas in the lots back. Lots of piñatas in the I'm back. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just a great yeah, time for everyone. In the and I think DJ Dick and oh, Knight tonight, right? Bed yeah. Richard Burroughs. There we go. Exactly. They're at Bedvine tonight. Any, any final word, uh, thoughts from you guys? The booth is wondering. Well, uh, <laughs> well, my, my thought is bit. that although it is the Kentucky Derby this week, do not get a horse in your mom's mixed up. Because Saturday is the Derby, Sunday is Mother's Day. Don't bring your mom a carrot, like a horse, and don't bring, you know, your horse a corsage. some so, a corsage. All right, yeah. now they told me to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, everybody. On that note. Thank you, Bedvine, and thanks to Dick and Dave. Yeah, we'll see you on Halsey Street at Bedvine Cocktail.